In this video we're going to look through the basic process of an employee putting in a manual expense request. So before we do that let's go into organization administration and let's have a look at our position hierarchy. So here we'll notice we have an employee Charlie and Charlie has a range of employees that work directly for him one of them being Julia. If we look at Julia's organization we have an employee called Kevin Cook. Now Kevin is a sales manager and Kevin is the employee that we're going to use this morning to actually put in an expense report. So Kevin reports to Julia and this is the hierarchy that's going to be used when we submit the expense for approval. Let's switch across to Kevin's. So Kevin can look at the employee services portal. So this is of course the self-service portal for employees to manage different tasks throughout the organization um, uh, that they interact with. So Kevin can come across to expenses. So here Kevin hasn't actually submitted any expense reports at this stage so we can click on expense reports. Now if I had credit card statements automatically imported then I'd see a list of these here so we'll cover this in a different demonstration. So I'm going to click continue and in this process we're going to manually put in an expense report so we'll uh, manually fill in each of the different lines for the expense report. So Kevin can fill in the different details so maybe he went on a training course he can specify the different locations. Now all of this data is configurable in Dynamics AX to, to show which fields are actually required or which fields are actually displayed for the employees to put in. So he can put in a relevant location and so of course all of this configuration is set up in the expense management module. If we go into travel and expense we'll see for example travel location set up. This gives me my locations set up. We'll also see for example display fields. Display fields determine whether a description is needed, um, whether you want a customer account, you want individual transaction fields on the expense entry. So the administrator can um, control what's actually turned on and turned off for entry for the user. So we can manually enter expense line. Now Kevin probably has a meal so we can enter the category of meal. So of course the categories drive the functionality that the user has to enter different data and of course can be later used for uh, specific purposes in, in terms of um, in terms of analytics and so forth. So the merchants list for example can be tied to the categories so we can automatically default if we're trying to track which merchants people are spending money at so maybe we could use that to go and um, ask for discounts for example. So in this case Kevin's spending $60 for a meal um, so we can hit save. Now based on the category for example I could put uh, entertainment as being a different category and so we'll get different functionality. So you'll see for example we've got gifts, um, guests or gift receipts. So uh, for example I can specify if I've given um, again you'll see the defaulting behavior change. Um, so we could say we've done entertainment and then we could go and specify the the guests or the other employees that were included. So I could manually put someone in um, and put um, someone's name or Likewise, I can add co-workers which will give me a list of the employees that we've got set up in uh, Dynamics. So I could say that uh, Charlie also uh, came here as well for the visit. So we can list the employees that are actually uh, associated with this expense if we need to split this out. So I can say save. Now what we can also specify is distribution functionality. So you'll see for example 
if we go into other I can specify the distribute amount so if we needed to for example that entertainment split it across the two different employees in the organization uh, I could use this functionality to to do that if I need now I can split that across legal entities um, if I needed to if the employees worked across different legal entities for example in this case we're just going to keep it as a simple expense entry now what I could also do, for example, is if I go back and edit a specific line, you'll see I have the ability to link receipts to the specific line. So on the main header, I can go into the receipts functionality and I can add a receipt file, which, for example, if I've scanned uh, my receipts, I can attach them. So you'll see in this particular case, I can go to my documents, I've scanned them, I can put on my meal receipt, for example, and then I can say OK there. So this can be then used for my manager if they wanted to actually have a look at the receipt when they're going to approve. So when I'm ready, I can submit that. So this is, of course, when workflow is going to take over. And you'll see the status is in review, waiting for my manager to approve. So I can switch across to my manager, which is Julia. And you'll see that we have the ability to look at approvals. So the workflow will take about a minute to actually run through. So I'm just going to pause the video while this is running for about a minute. So the workflow is processed. Now Julia can see the expense. They're waiting for approval. So she can preview. Um, you'll see policy violations. We'll cover this in a different um, script. And so I can see my actions. I can open up the expense report here if we wanted to have a look at the detail. So Julie can review that. She can see that there's receipts attached and she can see that we have a meal here for $60. So if I have a look at the receipts, I can open the document, which will give me the ability to actually view that. And I can see the receipts actually for $6.89. So Julia can make a decision there whether um, is that the correct amount and she can decide how she's going to approve or deal with the specific workflow. So she could uh, reject, for example. So for example, maybe the employees just made a mistake and attached the wrong receipt to the specific expense entry. So she can put the comment and simply hit reject. And of course, this is where the workflow will then return the document to Kevin. If we switch back to Kevin, the workflow will run. So that'll take about a minute. So I'll just pause the video while that runs. Okay, so when we see back on Kevin's screen, we'll see that this is rejected. And so, of course, Kevin can go and do the remedial action to fix that. So this has been just a simple flow through of an expense, manual expense entry with managerial approval driven by a workflow. And we also see the ability to attach receipts and view that through the process. So this is an important example of where the expense management module in Dynamics AX can really help an organization to work autonomously, allow people to work remotely th through, in this case, a web browser to access and uh, put their expense reports in for reimbursement, for example.